Hello everybody, welcome to another video. We start this one off on the A3. The lane that I'm in is just about to turn into a slip road, which I don't want. So I move out, rather than lane hog, which seems to be a big thing on this channel. But who do you think from the rear camera here wants that slip road? Yep, I know you're all pointing at it. Old money bags in the outside lane. Their passenger has actually got their dress hanging outside the door. So not the brightest people in the car, shall we say. Money can buy you a lovely looking car, but it can't buy your brains. And even waits until it's solid lines before actually moving over as well. It's like he knew that I was behind him with a dash cam. Thanks mate. Okay, in this next clip, we're heading to a roundabout called the Silly Isles. Yeah, it really is, and you do get an incredibly amount of silly people on it, spelt a little bit differently. But, here we are, we're at this roundabout, which is confusing for some people. We're going down there, we're heading off to London and Sutton. Now, there's a junction to the left-hand side there, that there's two lanes to it, and most of them are going round the roundabout and going down there. So, and they're allowed to do it. There's two lanes to go round the roundabout. But the road that I'm on, when we get closer to the roundabout, breaks into two lanes as well. Now, I must be old fashioned or, or I don't know, past my sell by date or something. Because if you're turning left, why the fuck are you going into the right hand lane? You're, you're going to be cutting across people at the second part of this roundabout which I'll show you the reason why you shouldn't do it, because as I say, people are coming out of that junction there in the inside lane and going down there. So they will be cutting across each other. And it's not the people's fault that's coming out from the left-hand side. It's the people that are on my road that are in the right-hand lane turning left. Bizarrely enough, I just don't get it. It happens here all the time. I'm always seeing bits of car on the road where there's been a crash. And they are normally the same old people that do it. You know, the, the flash cars, the 4x4s, or vans, that sort of thing. It's, it's always the same people. But there is one here that I expect better from. I really do. And he's the, probably the most aggressive one out of the lot. So as we come in here, it's almost like a double roundabout, but not quite. But the same sort of principles apply. So here we go. Not the usual suspect, the 4x4 getting in the wrong lane can't wait for two cars that we, he was behind there but this guy here look how fast he turns up to that roundabout here and it ain't until you see the back of his car you realize why i'm quite disappointed in this guy yeah he's just passed his test apparently or maybe that peers for pratt maybe probably now i'm gonna pause it here because in front of this private hire there's a prius that's going straight on and yet i've got two knobheads next to me that want to turn left you see the problem and they're quite within their right to go straight on from this lane. But you should not be turning left from the right-hand lane. Idiots. Pair of them. Why are you in them lanes? You've got a big P on your fucking car. I could be going straight on, couldn't I? You're in the wrong lane, mate. You know it. I'll show you this from behind as well, with that junction coming out from the left-hand side. How one car is going to go straight. Idiots. A pair of them. Why are you in them lanes? You've got a big P on your fucking car. I could be going straight on, couldn't I? So not only people from my lane could be going straight on, people from this lane could be going straight on as well. How dangerous is it to be in the right-hand lane and turn left there? You're in the wrong lane, mate. You know it. Now, in this next clip, I was walking. I must have just missed this crash by about 10 minutes. I was walking that way as well. So God knows how that car got where it is. But yeah, I was walking that way. I was going down to the gym. Yeah, all right. I was walking to the off-license to get some beer and chocolate. You got me. But how do they do it? I mean, this is a 30 mile an hour speed limit. And look at the damage to the car. You can't do that damage doing 30 miles an hour, surely. It's brand new as well, this car. But can you work out what make it is? 
Surprise, surprise, it's an Audi. Always an Audi. I'm sort of gutted that I didn't see the crash because I would really love to know how they got the car in there. It's You've got a tree behind you. There's a lamppost that it's hit, which has caused all that damage. But they've hit the lamppost from the pavement side, going over the grass. But there's a tree there. I don't know how they've done it. And just to let everyone know, they were okay. They were out talking to the police, uh, saying there wasn't speeding and stuff. Yeah, right. The only casualty was the car and the lamppost. Now the next clip is another Audi that has been driving recklessly. You might need to sit down for this because it's a little bit shocking. Yep. There it is. It's mounted the pavement, made a whole heap of mess on that grass there. It hit the wall and then run off shouting, mummy, mummy, mummy. I mean, come on. These Audi drivers are an absolute joke, aren't they? Absolute joke. Always an Audi. Now in this clip, it's again, this Addison Lee guy here, guess where he wants to turn? Left, but he's in the right hand lane. Is this a new trend that's coming around now? That you go into the right hand lane to turn left at a roundabout? Woo, idiot. Addison Lee, thick as shit. Now in this clip, I was behind this learner for probably about three or four miles. Haven't really had a chance to overtake it. And it was driving pretty well, I've got to say. It was doing nothing wrong. It was, it was driving at a reasonable speed for this road, which is a 40 mile an hour speed limit. But in a little while, it does something that isn't very good. And it's how it reacts afterwards, after being behind it for such a long time. It was kind of weird how the confidence was totally shattered. You'll see it, it's getting a little bit close to the curb there, but coming up, it does this. Then goes really close to the curb again. And then the confidence is gone, I think, because it drives really slow after that and takes a, this turning here incredibly slow. As I say, I was behind it for a while and it was taking everything perfectly and at a reasonable speed. But confidence, it's a big thing when you drive, when you're a learner anyway. Now I've speeded this up just a tad because we haven't quite finished with it yet. Not necessarily this learner, but another learner coming towards us. I don't know if there's a test centre around here but there seems to be a meeting point of learners around here, down this road. And as far as I'm aware, there isn't a test centre here, so I don't know why they're all meeting up. Now this learner in front of us is deciding to pull over, right next to the other car on the other side. Again, I don't get it. Why would you park opposite a car that's already parked there, making the road tighter? I don't get it. Now this learner coming towards us, if you was an instructor, would you say to the learner, wait behind that silver car or push through the gap and let me wait for me it's the other way around i think that they should be waiting for me not as a priority thing or anything like that but that's the way i was always taught they want they want you to not push through them gaps and it obviously knew that it was pulling over because there's three of them there now all pulled over now in this clip we've got another learner in front of that audi but it's doing nothing wrong it's the Audi that's doing something wrong. You know you've got a learner in front of you. Why are you driving so close to it and getting even closer to it? It's not going to break the speed limit for you, so pull away and give it some space. But it is an Audi, I guess. If you're a new learner driver, get used to seeing idiots like this behind you in your mirror, okay? Watch out for them four rings, because it's generally these fucking idiots that do it. And if you are a newbie driver or a learner, here's a little quiz. Who has priority at a mini roundabout here? Out of these three cars, who has priority? Maybe traffic approaching from the right? Maybe? No, uh, it's always an Audi that has priority, no matter what the situation. Now 
Now in this clip, we're coming up to a pedestrian who's left his Audi at home. Yes, they have priority no matter what, as I just said. There's a guy wearing a red jacket on the right, who just crosses in front of everyone, makes everyone break, and then walks to the crossing. And now walk to the crossing. Well done, mate. Fucking idiot. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.